I'm JD Jr., JD Manus Jr. This is my dad, JD Manus Sr. And we're here to talk about the 65 Pontiac that we built over the last 34 years together, and had for 34 years. Built it uh, to this state about the last seven years. So um, why don't you tell the story about how you found the car and prompted me to jump in. Well, I found the car on the corner, sort of on the corner of Devonshire and Sepulveda, and uh, it was a yellow car at that time. And I already had a car, a lot like it, a yellow one, because I like GTOs. My first brand new car I ever owned was a GTO. So I went over and said, hey, there's a car up on the street. Let's go look at it. And so we did, and we bought it. It's a, you know, that's how we, and now it's been 30 some years. Yeah. It, was, it was my second car I've ever had. Called the guy, went over in Mission Hills, and uh, I was gonna be a big shot and buy my first car. And he wanted fifteen hundred dollars for it. It was a Le Mans, it's not a GTO, and uh, automatic two barrel. So we went over, we looked at it, said it was great. I don't even know if we drove it, and uh, but I was gonna be Mr. Big Shot, and I offered the guy twelve hundred dollars. He stared me down and said, "No, it's fifteen hundred. I don't want to sell it. I have to sell it." So I whipped out the money, gave it to him. We took it home and. I decided right away I wanted to make it a GTO. And uh, we found a four speed, we found a 389, started gathering parts, and uh, just slowly started putting it together. The car had less than 100,000 miles on it when we bought it. Uh, I watched it turn over, the odometer turned completely over to zero at one point. If we wanted to make a GTO, I would have been gather parts. But I used to go to a place called Pick Your Park all the time, and I went there every week. And I did that for several years, and I still have a lot of those parts left. Decided we wanted to make it a four-speed car, and that wasn't too big a deal. Maybe you could put a console in it. Change the steering column out, because uh, it was a column shift car. And, uh, but all the parts we put on the car were our 65 correct parts. We searched and found all that stuff. Um, obviously, it's not numbers matching. It's Heads on the engine R65, box 65, rear end 65. So we tried to make it as, as legitimate of a 65 GTO that you would have bought new, but it was a Lamont's car. There's not anything we didn't touch, it's all been fixed. About seven years ago, I finally decided I wanted to take it apart and start doing it. And uh, we got a hold of Mick, Mick Jenkins at uh, Mick's Paint Body. And, uh, came over and said he'd be happy to make it, make it shiny. And uh, we, we spent a couple days tearing the whole thing apart. And, uh, you know, and seven years later, this is the final product, so we're happy with it turned out.